appreciate you You're being welcome. here with us. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you Because we really want to support all the efforts that are going on. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the Christian Appalachian Project. Sure. Uh, Christian Appalachian Project has been around since uh, 1964, and our disaster relief program actually started after Hurricane Katrina. Went down to help with Katrina and just saw that there was a need, and of course see many needs here in Eastern Kentucky is where we serve. Uh, with flooding, a lot of flooding, and now more recently with tornadoes as well, and just saw that need. And so now uh, it is a full-time program for us. Uh, Tina, talk to us a little bit about, about the needs uh, of, the, the, of the program as well. So absolutely. So right now, as we know, with any kind of natural disaster, people are going to have immediate needs, and a lot of that is going to be water, cleaning supplies, things that help them to get through those first days and weeks when really it is uh, an unthinkable tragedy that happens to you and your family and you need those resources. Um, we're taking donations as many organizations are. Our office is at 2528 Palumbo Drive here in Lexington so any of those items can be dropped off at our office. But we also need volunteers and lots of organizations. You're going to need hands and feet, boots on the ground to help people clean out their homes, uh, get out that uh, wet insulation and drywall so that mm -hmm. they don't have mold that comes in and so we just want to say to the community if you're looking for ways to help you know there's always ways to donate or serve or bring items so there's many ways to serve and help the people in need. Now you have a couple other locations as well that people can do drop-offs out. Uh, where are they located? Absolutely so we have a drop-off in Paintsville which is where our headquarters is and when also our command center is set up in Martin, Kentucky at our Foley Mission Center and you can find that information on our website at christianapp.org um, and then all of the information about how you can volunteer, where to sign up, who to contact, and what items are needed, you can find it all on our website. And you, you were talking about cleaning and getting down there and boots on the ground. What people don't realize is for the homes that maybe weren't th uh, taken down the, the river or uh, off the foundation, mm -hmm. There's feet, literal feet of mud inside Absolutely. these homes. So it's a desperate need, right? Absolutely. So the um, for uh, listening to you talk about going out and seeing it firsthand, it just breaks your heart because it's not just that they lose the ability to be like in their home. You're right. You come into a home and everything is covered with mud or your personal items, your photos of your children, your uh, mementos from your family is down the river in the creek bed or spread out for miles and miles from your home. And so what volunteers are able to do, many times you're just overwhelmed with the sheer enormity of the disaster and having volunteers to come in and help you do the work that maybe you can't do by yourself. You think about your whole first floor of your home, or maybe it's the water has gone up to the second floor of your home. You just need people to be there. Sometimes you just need the presence of someone else to comfort you in that time of need. Yeah. How does it feel to be able to be a part of this and come together and help give back? It's always amazing because uh, you can't even think of it happening to you, but you know how you would feel if it happened to you, or you see people who have lost loved ones or truly have just lost everything, and you just want to come alongside and love on them. And so I think uh, the privilege of having a job where you get to go love on people mm -hmm. and just serve them in whatever capacity you can is really a heartwarming thing. Some people say okay. just need somebody to grab a hold of them, hug them. You know, yeah, they, absolutely, they, they absolutely. Really do. And, yeah, and just to listen, just yeah, to listen. Yes, because they've been through a very traumatic situation. Yeah, absolutely. Now, if people want to donate, where do they go? Uh, if you want to donate, ChristianApp.org. Uh, that's C H R I S T I N dot O R G slash floods twenty two. Uh, to donate. All right. Thank you so much, Tina. Thank we you so much. You. Thank you so much for having <laughs> us. Thank you for being here. Yes.